uh, welcome everyone. Uh, I hope that um, uh, I just want to check if we are already recording. Um, okay, perfect. So these recordings will be also available for those that were not able to, to join, but to thank you for all those that have joined. So we have the possibility here to have one more the content providers uh, community call in order to share the recent developments and to receive your um, your feedback about the services and if you are if you have any issue that you you want to solve you can have also have the the possibility to to have it uh, so the slides are already also shared in the in the in the, in the open air portal in the in the in the in, in the specific page that we have for for provide community calls and also in the in the minutes if you can you can have the link maybe um so andrea my colleague andrea will also share the, the the link for the for the minutes in the in the chat in order for you to access if you want to put any question in the in the chat or in the in the minutes please please feel free to 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 put your questions or to to ask for something or to comment so we have the notes uh, that you can place there your comments and the chat and we have the slides available and the recordings of all the community calls also available in this provide page in the open air portal so today we will uh, we will dedicate uh, half of this meeting to the to the broker service the the open air broker service uh, that is basically the service that provide all the metadata enrichments that we have available via the the, the provide dashboard so we have um, uh, my, my my colleague my colleague Claudio from 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 Italy from CNR Isti from Pizza to to detail a bit um, how the service works and uh, what are the um, the also the um, the new uh, events that are being generated and some some we will share also with us some some novelties about this and then we can have um, time to discuss. To, you can put questions to Claudio, or we just uh, discuss other issues that we that we we have with the, the service. Before Claudio uh, starts um, with the, the the presentation, I just want to give some uh, more informations about the um, about uh, some recent developments in the in provide. Some of them we have already provided by by via the the newsletter. Uh, but we want to highlight that, um, and this is a reminder, that we have uh, a new type of, of broker uh, events available in the in, in providing production. Okay, we are testing some in beta, but we have already one that is related with the outer IDs. So we have links to um, we provide the information of our, our kids in the in the metadata uh, uh, enrichments that we are sending via the provide so you can use this information check uh, how can you um, so update your your record so you you can access in provide to the um, content uh, part you see the events and there are one type of events that are related with outer ids where we are sending ids uh, from authors that are uh, authors of that specific publication and you can update your record in your repository. The other information is related with the guidelines. There is now one um, uh, one version, one Spanish version of the guidelines. So our colleagues from the, um, uh, the Latin America um, network of repositories, La Referencia, have worked on this translation so thank you very much for all the effort that this this team from la referencia have put it into to translate this into spanish and in, and in fact was not only a translation was also um uh, to fix also some they have also contributed to fix some some mis small mistakes that we had in the in the in the current version so it was quite important also for us to update uh, and to fix some some things um and the, uh, so we remind also that the, the this version of the guidelines is already in production in the validator so you can you can access the validator and test uh, the compliance of your uh, content providers of your repository against this latest version of the guidelines uh, we also highlight that we have a new way to track uh, users' events from your repositories. It's a, um, a generic tracker 
uh, script that you can use. So additionally to the plugins that we have available for the for this space, you you can also uh, access the um, the GitHub um, Open Air repository where you can find information about. Uh, this script uh, and how can you use it in your repository in order to enable uh, your repository to be tracked by by open air for the user statistics the last one uh, if the last information is always to highlight that we have a public roadmap where you can be we can provide feedback but you can also be aware of the the main changes uh, and that are in the pipeline to be produced and um, if you have any suggestion if we think that this suggestion is, is is relevant we also put it here in the roadmap and we try to schedule this uh, in our plan in order to deliver it as um as um uh, uh, an enhancement of the service uh, so these are the main information that I want to share with you. Later, you can also uh, ask more things about uh, these uh, novelties. Um, but now, let's have the um, Claudius uh, Azzori presentation. Uh, Claudius from CNRST, as I said, and uh, she was one of, one of the, the main uh, responsible for the, by the broker service that managed the broker service and uh, he will present uh, some details of how the service works and what are we working on to develop this this service so claudio uh, do you want to share your screen um, or do you want yes. to pass the slides it's better uh, yeah you, no i think it's it better today. if i share my screen so that i can yes, uh, go yes. forward yes so the floor is yours so i just stop my my screen so okay Thank you for all for those that have already joined. So now we will have a presentation from Claudio about the, the broker service. So okay, Pedro, can you see my screen? Yes, perfect. perfect. Okay. Okay. okay, thank you for the introduction. Uh, so welcome everyone. Thank you for joining. Uh, I'm going to in, give a, a brief presentation of uh, the open air broker service. Its main concept essentially is to uh, leverage on the um, metadata quality uh, that is produced by uh, the open air aggregation system supplemented uh, by all the other set of processes that contribute to increase uh, the metadata quality so thanks to uh, the aggregation system that uh, puts together Meta bibliographic information from uh, publication repository data archives and so on uh, we are capable to build an aggregated information space where uh, bibliographic records are cleaned, disambiguated, validated and enriched by uh, inference processes. Some of you uh, might have already seen uh, this sketch of the main uh, model behind uh, the open air research graph. Essentially, the possibility to navigate these links uh, allows to uh, get information from surrounding entities that can provide additional information that can be relevant for uh, your repository. In fact, the main concept behind the broker is to produce information that is potentially of interest to uh, the repositories that contribute to create the open air research graph and this materializes into essentially two actions either providing new records that are of interest for uh, a given collection or enrich uh, records that already exist in, in a given collection of records with extra information inside the broker uh, there is a per se architecture behind the broker service but everything starts from the analysis of the information space built by uh, the open air aggregation system so the open air research graph and skull explorer let me tell you that they consist of two uh, for the moment independent information spaces uh, constructed using two different aggregators in the first phase so there are dedicated algorithms that identify events 
So uh, there are algori algorithms tailored to uh, capture information that can be relevant for uh, the repositories that provided originally the information, the bibliographic information. In a second phase, such informations are matched against the subscriptions performed by users. So uh, starting from the basic assumption that a repository manager is also implicitly subscribed to every event that is pertinent to the repository he manages. This is how uh, we are, are able to assign every event produced by uh, the algorithms to the associated subscriber. In the third phase, there is a periodic process that checks which information has to be sent to the individual subscribers. So uh, periodically, new information is produced as a set of new notifications, paying attention to not repeating the same uh, novelty more than once. So as I mentioned, there are a set of processes that contribute to uh, increasing the quality of the metadata. Might then be uh, especially the duplication and the inference processes. So how does those uh, up mentioned algorithm works? Um, they are based on uh, a simple concept. They analyze the group of duplicate, duplicated records identified by the, the application system and comparing the individual set of metadata record or metadata fields in each metadata record, they are capable to uh, assert that a certain field that was not, for example, found in a given repository was instead provided by another repos repository. So uh, say that uh, repository A providing a given metadata record does not expose uh, the abstract for a certain record, but the same record provided by another repository exposes the abstract, then the second, the, the first repository might be interested in integrating that information through a dedicated event. So we categorized uh, the topic that are associated to different uh, classes of events into two main categories. Macro categories that represent events about field values that are different from those that are available in the repositories. We call them enrich more. And another category instead is related to a group of events about metadata fields that are instead not present in the metadata of the repository. At the moment in production, we have topics that uh, touches upon publication abstract, the publication date, link to projects, open, open access versions, persistent identifiers, ORCIDs, and subject classification terms. Uh, most, all of them derived from uh, automatic uh, algorithm, algorithms that extrapolate those terms from the PDFs. Instead, in beta, uh, we are testing the production of uh, events related to links to datasets, links to software, and links to publications. An important aspect uh, to keep in mind is that these events are produced by uh, algorithms, so uh, automatic ways that uh, takes decisions uh, utilizing information that is not uh, authoritative. So in this sense, it is important to uh, express this uncertainty as much as possible, because we, we want to be transparent in the information that uh, is provided to you. So whenever a repository manager asks uh, it's himself, if it's the case or not to uh, integrate a given uh, reference to a certain project, 
we want to be transparent in saying that okay we are not 100 percent sure that this publication uh, acknowledges actually this uh, project here because such link was uh, in the first place inferred by uh, a mining algorithm extrapolating it from the full text so there is a chance that the confidence level is not 100 percent uh, sure of the trustworthiness of this information uh, as for well not today but up to last month this table uh, represents the number of events that were built according to each topic as you can see the number is quite important the numbers involved here are quite uh, important and uh, i highlighted the, the novelty of uh, ORCID uh, events produced uh, for uh, the 700 repositories that were uh, involved in the event generation procedure in the production system. While instead on the right, uh, there are new uh, type of events mostly uh, related to references between data sets and publications as well as references between software entities and publications but they are still available only on um, the beta system so at the moment we are evaluating the quality of this new set of events essentially for uh, software uh, uh, events we notice that the majority of events are essentially mentioned somewhere in the article so the question is mostly uh, for you are all these mentions relevant to be uh, are they worth to be integrated in your collections regardless of uh, where they occur for the moment we cannot distinguish if uh, such relationships sprouts from uh, the citation section or if it is supp supplementary material or any other kind of um, semantics let's say that links a publication and uh, a software so this is a question for you and uh, uh, food for discussion after the presentation instead for data sets uh, for the moment the majority of events are uh, related to data repositories like Pangea and Sino, links from uh, data set to publications uh, are good quality but for the moment they are not yet available on uh, the production portal they are built on the beta system and yeah we are, we are validating it anyway consider that majority of the events that we can uh, that open air can generate from uh, between publications and data set depend on the availability of information in the graph uh, as some of you already know the big uh, open air research graph is currently hosted only on the beta system so the broker in, in the production system instead will be able to benefit from this extra information from the moment that it will be uh, promoted to production as well so this uh, after the validation phase uh, we still need to wait for uh, the production system to be ready to host the increased uh, open air research graph so we, which are the new types of events that we are uh, working on we are evaluating the possibility to uh, generate what we call alerts for example generated starting from the continuous validation process let's say that uh, in a given moment in time uh, records in a certain collections miss uh, i don't know the title publication title disappears from for any reason or due to uh, technical reasons uh, due to uh, migration of, of the repository platform the, the records are not available for one day or one week these alerts could be a mean to inform the repository manager that 
something is not working uh, as it should with their repository? Might it be related to content or might it be related to uh, protocol issues or to unavailability of their service? For the moment, we can think about notifying this information via email through the content provider dashboard, informing that your content was aggregated or that the content was uh, indeed indexed by OpenAir, but we can provide more fine-grained information. On the other side, we are working on defining an API to allow uh, other services to consume uh, the, the content of a notification. As for today, only uh, events and notifications are only browsable through the content provider dashboard. So uh, integrating such information back into your repository for the time being is a manual work. But uh, the task is moving forward. We started to define a preliminary version of an API for the bulk download of uh, the notifications. And future works will also uh, assume to define, to, to rely on the protocol to ex automatically exchange information, but this is still work in progress. And I think we can move on, Pedro. Yes, many thanks, um, Claudio, for the uh for this uh, presentation i think to the to the to the point let's say i'm sharing my my, my screen now just to in order to highlight so the, now what i would like to to have it's also your opinion i just want to um so you can you can comment if you, you want to type you can type but uh you can join the conversation just uh, activate your your microphone and you can join just three three uh, remarks um, so be aware that uh, you can um, uh, access the result of this work the broker uh, in the in the in the provide dashboard in provide dashboard here in this area of contents you click in events and you will see the events now i'm 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 showing the um, the events the enrichments from the university of minio repository okay so you can access here uh, you click in your source if you have more than one and you will see the type the different types of, of events so this is where we have so you can see here the, the one that is uh, the latest one the, the new one about the the missing author information so links to 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 our kids okay so um, this is the kind of information that you can see. I'm just highlighting to demonstrate this. I know that some of you already did that, but you, for example, in this record, as OpenAir they found this um, ORCID, uh, so you can use it for your uh, for your um, repository. Okay. Um, then the other the other thing that I want to to highlight is regarding this new uh, types of uh, metadata that uh, uh, Claudio was was highlighting so um, so we we do a validation process uh, evaluation process of the results of this new um, generated events uh, in a better environment so we are happy to to have more repository managers those that are here participating in this call if you want to join um, a small team that we can share some uh, developments in beta in order for you to test. And one of the, the, the work that you can do is also, in fact, testing these um, this, um, events. Okay, if you want to, to join, just send uh, an email for, for us. So you can send an email for me. So uh, Andre can also share my email here in the, in the chat or for another channel in open air so that you want to join, to join a, a small team of, um, let's say, a provide, provide the users uh, advisory, uh, advisory board or provide the users board that you can test some new things so and one of those things to test is this kind of new events so if you want to comment some 
something about this it's it's quite uh, important so the the question here that uh, that Claudio raised about the software is that the the type of events and metadata enrichments that we are generating from the software are not the normal ones are not completely as we have today so uh, we have some metadata records uh, that we found with links to software that are in fact uh, it's related with software so we should have a kind of link from that publication to that, to that software but there are the majority in fact are just mentions like references so a mention to a software in during in the text of the paper or a mention to a software in the references of the of the paper so and this is something that is not it's it's interesting information but it's not a metadata enrichment so we are we are not sure if we should have this also available in the as a metadata enrichment because we will make a little bit of confusion based on what we we have uh, we have now so um this is what uh, so if you want to 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 provide your information about it so you you feel free i'm just also um uh, accessing the the provide in in beta just also to uh, if you want to put your questions please put but i just want to share with you uh, what we are talking about so this is the kind of uh, in beta this is the kind of metadata the new metadata fields that we have so enrich missing software but in fact it's not uh, only missing software it, it just mentions to um to a link to a, a software um in the middle of the paper so this is the kind of information that we can provide as you can see a link for a, a for a specific software that is related or mentioned in this paper so but if 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 you want to have this information you need to check and you need to spend a little bit of time to access the original link um and check if it is if it it is the just a mention or a link a real enrichment of the metadata so if you want to provide your feedback we we will we are happy at least from my side i'm not conf completely confident that we should put this kind of new metadata enrichments available in in production this is why we also want to have your your input here but this is the kind of information that uh, I'm sharing now from the specific case of the repository of menu that we can we can have. Um, so some some cases from SourceForge or from GitHub, for example, this one from GitHub. So this is the kind of examples that we have. Okay, if Claudio wants to add something, you can add, or if you have any question, I'm not sure if we have any question here in the chat. Just feel free to, to, to jump in. Okay, Claudio, do you want to say something? Uh, uh, I can just I can just yes. tell that I share uh, your same doubt about the availability of mm -hmm. uh, simple mentions. Perhaps we could think about renaming the topic and indicate yeah. that it, uh, those links uh, are software somehow related to a given publication, give it yeah. a more generic flavor then uh, in future we cannot exclu exclude that the mining algorithm will be able to uh, capture more detailed semantic about mm -hmm. uh, the kind of reference so if it's uh, if a link appears uh, among the references is one thing if it appears uh, among uh, in other sections of the article it can provide more detailed semantic uh, within the link so the broker will be able to benefit from this extra information okay so we cannot ex exclude to have an improvement in the next months also on, on this front yeah 
uh, many things. So for, for sure, for sure, if we go through um, to put this in production, we need to rename the type of event because it's in fact not missing. It's a, it's a, they are mi missing links or 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 um, or additional mentions, something like that. Um, but uh, let's 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 hear, let's hear our community and our also the thoughts about that. So feel free to um, to share your thoughts during this um, call or if you want to join that uh, that um, uh, team that can also contribute to the the beta um, the evaluation in beta of some of these uh, uh, developments please um, contact us and we will uh, we will put you in that in that group. Uh, of course, we need to ensure that uh, your repository is well represented in beta because not all the content from the from each repository is fully available in in, in the beta environment. But um, but we will we will we can try to do that specifically for your repository. Okay, um, I hope that um, this presentation was was uh, useful and uh, and and. Um, comprehensive for you at least I thought that uh, Claudio did it uh, very well and it was uh, clear so so now you are aware of the type of uh, all the type of events that that, uh, that we have available for you and that you can reuse we are aware of course that um, the um, links to projects uh, links to so missing PIDs and uh, open access versions and missing open access versions are usually the, the three types of events that people, that we are aware that repository managers really want to have and really and are using it. Also, I heard about the abstracts, for example, missing abstracts. Uh, but so um, feel free to, to give your opinion about the others. I, I just want to also to highlight that, for example, the publication date is uh, is something that is is relevant because we can say that we are sending not uh, we are sending a, a metadata error <laughs> uh, so if 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 you are not exposing properly the, the publication that that this is a critical uh, error in your in your metadata so we are suggesting you to have this that information properly but all the other events are are, are quite relevant and depending on the type of policy that you have for your repository Okay, uh, there are some comments here about so from João, uh, João Souza from Polytechnic de Leiria. Yes, so it's uh, Minho is a, a this space a this space repository. Yes, it's true. Um, okay, and we have both think and saying thank you. <laughs> okay, so. Um, is there any other comment uh, issue that you should that you would like to to raise uh, for this uh, related with the broker or with any other any other um, uh, topic uh, from the um, from the the provide service? Feel free to 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 comment. Uh, so these community calls are not only for us to present what are the main novelties and to uh, and the specifications of specific components of the of the provide, but it also to welcome your feedback. So um, I would like I would like to highlight. Uh, uh, so we have we have um, ten minutes more for this for this call if you want to to add more. But uh, in the meantime, uh, I just want to highlight two things. One is that we have um, we have um, the a specific newsletter for the the provide so in in in, op, in open air we have the, gen, the the generic newsletter where we every month send out information about uh, uh, the open air activity not only the technical side but all the network but we have a specific newsletter for uh, the content provider um, issues so uh, if you are not a sub subscriber uh, please subscribe this uh, newsletter and you will receive every month information about the content provider development so we usually send this newsletter in the day before of the monthly community call uh, so please uh, subscribe uh, this 
Um, and also uh, be aware that in the in the in the page of the community calls, all the um, all the calls until the summer are already scheduled. So please add them to your calendar. We have also the links for the sessions there. So we have an issue with the, the session today, but uh, we will test if everything is working fine in order to avoid the problem that we had today but please add them to the calendar uh, we try to send reminders via the newsletter but add them to the calendar so gutiken is is asking for a specific uh, question so the link the link for the the tracker code the new the new um, script is available in github here uh, gutiken but also, uh, so if you if you check in the um, here in the metrics uh, part of the of the um, of the, the provide service, uh, we have uh, we have that information all available also in the in the support. If you are not um, if you are not if you have, uh, didn't um, enable your service. I'm clicking here in order to demonstrate this. If uh, you have this information also in the um, in the in the in the guidelines, so of the users, let's let me put also here the the link in the chat. So all these links are also available in the in the presentation that we have already shared. Okay, um, so thank you for, uh, I know that um, my colleague Jose is also here in the, in the call, uh, just before we, we, we close this meeting, um, I also want to, I would like also to hear um, Jose, Jose's um, uh, opinion about this mentions uh, of the software, this uh, enrichments of the software, well, if Jose thinks that this this is relevant or not, for example, for the um, the context of the Portuguese um, repository manager, so it's it's one more opinion. In order to have also the feedback from the the community, I'm not sure if Jose. Okay, Jose, you are. Yet, what is your what is your opinion? <laughs> okay, what the, what the, the opinion is that. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, my opinion is that. Uh, it's still not yet a, a generic practice in the way that people make uh, uh, mentions to software in the way uh, that they use specific fields, for example, on the repository systems or on the journal systems to be able to share that on a structured way. So we are now able to do other types of uh, process like this one to get information from the texts, the full texts to, to get this information. I think it's important to get this information out from the full texts, but also important is to understand what kind of information we are taking off to be able to define if this is just a, a generic reference or is just uh, um, something that has really been used uh, regarding the, the publication itself. So, so for example, if, it, if this is a, a piece of software needed uh, to be used to reproduce some studies that have been described on the, the publication, so this is something very, very relevant. In another way, if I have a paper where I describe some available software that can be used by the community for specific tasks uh, that are not related to the, the paper itself, <clears throat> so this is not so much relevant uh, in this yeah. way. Uh, also, we can have a, a middle term in this way where people and mainly repository managers <clears throat> can make a, a decision in the way that this can be or not uh, available on the repository as a, a reference or just something that is referred to the publication. So the manual 
um, decision. Um, it's also very important and something that can be complementary to the way that machines and algorithms um, extract this information. Yeah. So by now, I think it's the the way we can do it. In the future, we may have uh, other kind of uh, practices, mm -hmm. like in the guidelines, for example. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, many thanks, Jose, for your for your input for these discussions. In the meantime, uh, Jordan have put it here an important question, Claudio. If you want to give some more information about this, this is something that uh, the community is asking. Uh, Jordan is asking if it's possible to export in any way the events from the dashboard. So maybe maybe Claudio can add some more information. This is in the this is something that we really want to have. Uh, we have the limitation in the way that we are exposing these events to the um, uh, to 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 be uh, visible here in the in the provide. Um, but this is something that we really want to to have. So at least from a simple CSV file, or in the future also via protocols like uh, like Sword. So uh, in fact. Um, uh, this is something that we won't really want to have, and uh, this is um, uh, vi also visible here in the in the um, in the um, in the roadmap. So this is um, under our under our consideration to to have it. It's not uh, in progress or completely planned yet because we do, we don't have yet the 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 proper we cannot predict when are we going to do this improvement. <laughs> but the Claudio, do you want to add something uh, for the, for our, our colleagues here in order for them to to be aware of, of about this? Yes, yes. Yeah. Well, I, I can confirm this uh, is an ongoing activity. The design of an API that allows to uh, download the events to bulk download the events mm -hmm. is already uh, implemented. We are testing it at the moment, so we need to uh, define how this functionality will be available to, to end user through uh, the user interface. Okay. So yeah. we can assume it, it will be available in the near future. Yeah. So this is what we want, Jordan. So uh, we hope that we can, in the coming uh, uh, one or two uh, community calls to give a good news about this. Um, so at, at least for uh, we we don't want to to put m uh, we we cannot unfortunately put a lot of effort for for this. But at least uh, delivering CSV file this is what we really want. So attach it to which event type of event we have a CSV file or when we re you receive a. This is the basic idea. When you receive a notification uh, from the type of events or filters that you have uh, subscribed, uh, you also receive a link for to download a CSV file of those those events. Let, let's see what we can what we can what we can do. And we this is something that, in fact, maybe I, I will put it in all the slides for the coming <laughs> for the coming community calls in order to provide the this information. Okay, so um, if 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 there are no other questions, so we are just in the in the time. Uh, so we have started today a little bit late because of this issue with the the link for the session. But um, thank you everyone for for joining this community call. Um, be aware of the dates of the coming community call. We will have. In one month, we will have uh, another one. So, in the in the in the fourth of March, at the same time, uh, you have the information there. The slides are already available. Slides and recordings will be available also here in this in this page under this notes and recording section. Uh, and um, and if you have any any kind of issue accessing the the provide uh, service, just contact us because uh, we will we will try to solve it uh, quickly okay many thanks for your your presence here in this uh, in this uh, in this call and uh, uh, claudio many thanks for your support and for your great presentation so well, it was a pleasure uh, thank you okay.